you will find me at the time I love the best watching rainbows play on sunlight pools of water eyes from cold nights in the morning tears in all of my Drinking, Oh, no, sir. Have you been drinking whiskey, Onshaw? No, sir. Bron bronchial balsam, cough syrup. <coughs> 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 it smells like whiskey to me, Onshaw. Bad cough, sir. <coughs> Look at this, Onshaw. This is what you call a clean uniform. Sparkling lapel badge, crisp white haversack, highly buckled belt, immaculate brosswork. It's a credit to you, lad. It must have taken you hours. My mother did it, sir. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. We had your mother in here yesterday telling us all about you. Latimar, isn't it? It's so nice to have a better class of recruit in the ranks. It's her idea. I don't really know what I'm doing here. <laughs> Tell your mother she's done a first-class job. Oh, I wouldn't mind. 
mind. You sure we're going your way? Of course you are. Honest. Sailboard up. Uh -huh. Number 14. Uh -huh. For sale. Oh, well, not the woman with the Pakistani lodger or whatever he is. No, I don't think so. <laughs> uh, a few more paint jobs and we'll have a proper little King's Row. Lovely. Please. I'm not getting You know, I was only thinking the other day. We've got two architects living in the road, two accountants, three, of course, counting yourself now. What? Oh, and then, of course, there's the two actors. A couple of pansies there. Oh, we don't know that level, do we? I went to the BB this morning. What, love? Good morning. The BB. Oh. How was it? Not bad. Good. What does it stand for, BB? Boys, boys Brigade, Neville, you know what BB is. Mm. That had died out years ago. I quite lo loved you. Uh, do you really think it's a good thing for him to be going to all these sort of things? Honestly, it gets quite comical, the things you thrust on him. Oh, Neville, it's important for him to meet all sorts of people. No, I think I'll cook something special for Wednesday. Oh, by the way, I've invited uh, Betty and George over for dinner. Really? Mm. Might be quite nice. Be nice for Daniel too. Nice grown-up dinner party. Yeah. It's about time he started to mix with our friends. Oh! How are you doing? Oh! You set me on fire! How could you? Oh, Daniel! Oh! How? Oh, how could you? Damn good job it wasn't a supplement. That's all. Now, now don't get hysterical, Neville. Daniel, off to your room. A brain! It's you! I'm sure it's you and your damn stupid ideas at the proposal for the bloody shop. You're not such a shining influence on him yourself, you know. Not a shining influence at all!
What have you got, love? Can I have one of those, please? Oh, can, can I have one of those, please? A goldfish, please. Sorry, love. Not for this. See if you've got anything else at home, eh? Why, I'll see you all the... Shut up in a minute, will you? I've got to get this stuff on the car. You know he's a punter. Can't turn himself away from the pub, have you? We are a nice suntan one, boy. Danny, you really are terribly naughty. Now, why do you want to go and do a thing like that? Danny, what's that supposed to be? I'm not quite finished yet. Still needs quite a bit of work on the chest. But darling, you used to do nice pictures of Grandma and for the giraffe at the zoo. Oh, and do you remember that nice policeman you painted? But I've done all those things. I want to try something new. Darling, where on earth did you get this? No, oh, boy gave it to me at school. I wanted to paint a nude, and I didn't quite know what they looked like. So he gave me this. Well, she's got a very nice face. Oh, darling, did Daddy break your rocket? Oh, dear. Never mind, let's see if we can fix it. No, 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 darling, you fix your rocket. Don't mind me and have it. Come on, let's Oh, oh, darling, you will love me. Oh, never mind. Well, you fix your rocket, and I'll do an early lunch, and I'll come up and help you, all right? Flash down after lunch, then. <laughs> Melody, are you still in there playing that bloody silly penny whistle? Yes, and it's not a penny whistle, it's a recorder. Anyway, Miss Fairfax says I've got to practice. I don't care what she said. If you don't come out of there lively, I shall bust myself. Useful. Go down to the pub and ask your dad for some money for ice cream, or she won't get no sweet. All right.
The Jewish boys may now leave for private study. O'Leary, Onshaw. O'Leary, I trust you've informed the Holy Father of your sudden change of faith. As for you, Onshaw, you may rush to your matzus after my lesson. <laughs> and Jesus said, take up thy bed and walk. And Jesus said, take up thy bed and walk. Now, does anyone know the name of the man our Lord was referring to? No? What, does anybody know which of the disciples were with Jesus at the time? Does anyone know who the disciples were? Does anybody know who Jesus was? Aren't you frightened? Oh, why should I be frightened? It's quite nice when you get used to it. Oh, you know. Yeah, you know. How long do you kiss for, Muriel? <laughs> Depends how I feel. Five minutes sometimes. Oh, well, record. Oh, you're lucky, Muriel. How did you do it? You know, the first time you ever kissed a boy. I don't know, really. Never used to kiss boys. <laughs> I always thought kissing would bring babies. <laughs> Boys, what's that boys, Muriel? Can you spare me one? Today we're going to cover WIC, Wellington's Iberian Campaign. Now, to make things easier for you in the exams, I am going to give you a little memory, Maxi. Saucy turtles make terrible bat mats, Charlie. <laughs> Quiet. Saucy turtles make terrible bat mats, Charlie. Right, now then. 
The Eskan to the landing at Serena. T is the Battle of Talavera. M is the advance to Madrid. T is the lines of the Torres Vedras. B is the Battle of Busaco. M is the French General Messina. And C is the Battle of Cuida Rodrigo. Yes, aren't you? Sir, what was Wellington doing in Spain in the first place? Because, aren't you? He was. That's why. I'm sorry, sir, but I don't understand why. Now, don't be impudent, aren't you? I can't keep the brighter boys behind just because of you laggers back. So put your hand down and keep quiet. This is supposed to be a history lesson, not 20 questions. <laughs> right, now, all of you take this down. Roman numeral one. A saucy turtles make terrible bath mats. Charlie. <laughs> I want you out. It's confidential. Yes, it's confidential. Shove off, will ya? I'll leave him alone. He's all right. <sighs> and let him learn my secrets. Not lightly. Now you better not let him learn your secrets. Look, it's not bloody Kate Kennedy, you know. It's only an oval tin can with a bit of weed killer in it. It's not. I'll show you. Hold it. Oh, you're balmy. That'll never work. Go out. Take cover. <laughs> oh, 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 what a wet one. You're your ace, Bob. That's a guy, mate, do you? Should really. Don't see why, though. It'd be nice to go somewhere. I've got an hour. We could go up west if you like. It'll only take about an hour. Why, what are you pushing? We'll be there and back within an hour. Okay, come on. I'm 
just a clown that used to run around. I used to have a million friends. I used to start where everybody is, but I just give my best to my friends. Shows everybody knows I'm nearly sold all my clothes. One man can give, another has to lend. So I just give my best to my friends. And so you should. down at the Odeon. What, the Cypriot one? No, the space one. No, I haven't seen it. If you like, you can come to tea, and then we can go and see it. No, I can't. I've got to go home. I reckon I can get the money for both of us. My Uncle George came to tea last Sunday. He always leaves me some money. We could use that if you like. No, I can't. I've got to go. See ya. It's dead easy, really. I can easily get some more money. Look, I don't want your bloody money now. Go on, buzz off. Look, it's not that I don't want to go with you. It's, you see, 
I have to go home. It's my granddad. He goes mad if I don't get his rotten sausages on the boil. It's my granddad. Won't anyone else do it? You're... No. Perhaps we can go another night. I'm sure my mum would come round and give you a hand. No, she'd have a nightmare if she saw our place. She's always talking about people like... She'd come round, I know, and help with the washing up and put your granddad's sausages on. No. You'd have a heart attack if your old lady came round. You think she would? I'm sure. Yeah. It could do with an heart attack. It's doing good. <laughs> Energy, energy, use your body. Think of Majinski. 
Mum, you did promise. And this grandfather's a very old man. You did say you would. Oh, I know I promised, darling. We call this emergency meeting at the Women's Institute, and Mummy's simply got to go. I can't let them down now, can I? You do understand, darling, don't you? Perhaps another day, sweetie. Yeah. Oh, kiss Mummy goodbye. Mm. Now, don't watch too much television. And watch that cup out for me, sweetie, will you? She couldn't come. She had to go to a stupid old meeting. It was rather urgent, though. But I've come instead. So I'll help you put the granddad's dinner on and do the washing up. Anything you like. Assembly until I have quiet. Quiet! We will now sing hymn number 65 in your hymn books.
Run this note over to Mr. Dix for me, would you please? If he's ready for a partnership, well, so am I. Well, you can't be more than uh, 28, 29, can you? No. I remember when he was Daniel's age. Do you know? Well, it's absolutely amazing the things one hears do, doing so, so well for us. Well, each of a sudden, darling, come on. How are you getting on at school, Daniel? Well, wonderfully, one day not to die. Come on, eat up, eat up. Well, I mean, for instance, there's this Mrs. Murphy. I'm busy every Thursday. Just two rooms in Packington Street. Yes. I want some bread. Oh. Eight children. She's not yet 30. <laughs> oh, not Chris Red. I don't like Chris Red. I don't know how you do it. Really? <laughs> oh, no. What do you say to her? I want white bread. And I know the fellow's related now, but you can't say I haven't stuck to it. Uh, you can't say that. I haven't stuck to it either. They're so, <laughs> they're so oblivious to it all. To the squalor. Look, he doesn't like brown Chris Red either. To the squalor, to the birth control. Look, he hasn't <laughs> eaten his. <laughs> She thinks all she has to do is ask God for help. <laughs> and her troubles will go with praying. <laughs> Just by putting her hands together. Not just the hands she should put together. Level not in front of Daniel, John. Oh, I know. Excuse me. Oh, oh darling. Well, fetch a cloth, sweetheart, quickly. Come along. I'm so oh, that's fine. Well, it's not her fault, really. It's her religion. <laughs> it's that Pope again. <laughs> now have your plates, please. His Holiness gets the credit for every unexpected baby that arrives between here and Camden Town. <laughs> well, look, just darling. Do you know, they honestly think that family planning is done in heaven. Come on, darling. Uh, 
Daniel, darling, you haven't finished your dinner. That one, that one. Mm. Lovely dinner, darling. Good. Mm. Neville, if I put the car in, do I get that double relief? I've always wanted to use the Boston yeah. Carrier yeah. recipe yeah. cards ever since Neville gave you yours. Yeah, Legal, isn't it? Yes, You wait for me to see what's next. Darling, is that you? Yes, darling, it's me. Although I can't see you, somehow something deep inside me tells me that you're there. Darling, I'll always be there. You will. Darling, promise you will. Of course I will. You know, it's funny lying here. Makes one think of all sorts of things. Did you remember to get your paintbrush and the cleaners, love? No, I forgot. Oh, I don't know. You'll forget your head one of these days. You will, really. The man made me forget. What man? The man in the raincoat on the cemetery. The cemetery? On the cemetery? I thought I told you never to go there. What did he do? Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? He, he didn't touch you, did he? What do you mean? Did he... Did he touch you? No. Well, not really. What do you mean? Did he touch you or didn't he? No, he didn't touch me. But what did he do? Did he show you anything? What sort of thing? His... Did he show you his legs? Oh, yes. Oh, my God. I saw his legs all right. Now, tell me what happened. I'll kill him. Where is he? Is he still there? Mum, tell Mr. Turns to go, please, station. Oh, no, he's not there now. Well, where is he, then? He ran away. Ran away? The brick nearly hit him. What brick? Did you throw a brick? Oh, no, the boy did. The boy with the green ears and the ginger moustache with the spear running through his head, wearing frogman's flippers with a machine gun. This is no joke, my girl. You put the fear of God into me. So good job your father's not here. You'd get a bloody good hiding. That's the most wicked thing I've ever heard. Now you can go to your room. You're getting a bit too lippy. I must have had my mouth washed out with so forty if I told fibs like that at your age. Goodness knows I should. He's not got green ears at all, Gwen. He's quite a nice boy, really. <laughs> sit next to you? Well, I don't know. My friend Maureen normally sits there. Oh, love a boy. Oh, come on, Lala. It's worse every month. Hey, look at the whale squad. She thinks she knows it all. That one, Tom. Stop. No, you won't get me out there, mate. Come on, old shot. Sock him to me. The man's got the nerve. Look at him. A grown man. Wish I had a camp. Admit. Why doesn't he stick the belt in the life out of us all? All this twenty rigmarole makes me sick. Do you fancy an orange drink? There's 
not many people around the counter now. Yeah, well, there's not many people here, is there? And we'd be better off up west. You know, he'll be whacking us next thing in a Jude at the same time. <laughs> I mean, you, you don't know where you stand, do you? I mean, either they're headmasters or they're not. I mean, why are they trying to be our friends? I don't want him to be my friend, do you? I've got to dance with her. You're mad. What do you want to do that for? She'll only say buzz off or something. She's a bit stuck up, that one. You know, all this girl nonsense is rubbish. Girls are a load of snotty-nosed little so-and-sos. Look, if I dance with her, will you dance with her friend? Come on, you got to be joking. Come on, just this once. I'm scared to hear. Hey, look, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, look, look, it looks as though she's wet herself. Come on, don't be scared. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Come on, do you want to dance? <laughs> you like to dance? Come on, do you want to bloody dance? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Very well. What do you mean I don't dance very well? You dance stupid! yards. Can't understand why. Never ran more than 100 yards in my life. I shouldn't have forged old Jenkins' signature on my guard. Well, I'm in the 220. Wish I wasn't. I'd rather be in the long jump. Then no one can see you. Make a fool of yourself in private. Yeah, but that's not what that's not what it's all about, is it? I mean, you can't have people waving about winners if there's no Burks like you and me running around making fools of ourselves coming last. I mean, some people are winners and some people are losers. Who says who's going to be what? Well, don't ask me. That's all done before we get on this earth. I mean, 
meets him up there. He says, uh, you, you're going to be red hot at the triple jump. And you, you're going to be bloody useless. I mean, who landed me with her? Oh, uh, well, it's him up there, isn't it? Once he's got it in for you, he's, he'll write up the pictures. Look, I don't know what you're worried about. You haven't got it that bad. Why haven't I? Well, take, for instance, there's, there's your painting, you're good at that. There's your model making, you're good at that. There's your, uh, your stamp collection. I think of all the kids who like to have a stamp collection like yours. That's just the trouble. I don't like stamps anymore. Don't worry. We'll have the last laugh at this lot and him up there. We'll jack this school like him, give old dicks over there the old V sign, and shoot off and do whatever we want to do. You mark my words, it'll happen before you can say Jack Robinson. Open your young Latin scholar's book one with a grey cover. Page 27, the section I asked you to prepare around the forum. Right, Latimer. Read and translate, please. Uh, um, uh, Come on, Latimer. It is prepared homework. Um... Uius est Sivartus Longi Amplissimar. Amplissimar, Latimer. Emar, not Imar. Amplissimar, Actoritas. Not ass, Latimer. Ass. <laughs> Lord knows you should be able to pronounce that. Right, Latimer. 
Translate, please. Come on, Latimer, it should be prepared. Homework. I'm afraid I haven't done it, sir. Take two, Latimer. Bursary 3.30. Translate, Ornshaw. Right, sir. Um, got a bit of a cold, sir. Um, right. Uh, uh, um, Take two, Ornshaw. Bursary 3.30. Translate, Benchum. The, um... Boy, don't worry about it. Stick with me, you'll be okay. Benite. Onshore and Latimer. Come in, gentlemen. Right, Romulus and Remus, stand over there. Stand up, Onshore, lad. Stand up. And vacate your mouth. you invited me, sir. <laughs> and why did I invite you, Ornshaw? Well, because I couldn't translate the Latin, sir. Why, Ornshaw? Why? Because it's a bloody silly out-of-date language, do you mean, sir? Two was it, Ornshaw? I think we make it four. And why do you think it's a, a silly out-of-date language, Ornshaw? Well, because I couldn't speak to a dead Roman even if I knew the bloody lingo, sir. Now, do not vex me, Ornshaw. Do not vex me, lad. I think we'll make that a nice round sexpennissimo. That's six of the best in Latin. Game set and match to me, I think. Julius Caesar here is going to be very displeased with you, Ornshaw. Bend over, please. Ooh. Next one, please, Latimer. Such a lot, boy. Going to walk is to practice. You went your full dicks, are you? Well, you, you? You'll be late home. Why don't you shoot off now? There's no point in hanging around. It's old Swalescoff waiting for you, is she? Well, she, she'll be gone now. Why don't you pop along? I don't know why you're hanging around here, honest, I don't. Told you it'd be easy, didn't I? Come on, Danny, don't let's see you cry. I don't know what she's hanging about for. You. I told her what, because she keeps on hanging about. Tell her to buzz off. Go on. Give us that. He's a scream old dick, isn't he? His little Julius Caesar. <laughs> It's got the most incredible bomb you've ever seen in your life. He's got a co He's 
got a Coca-Cola bottle and, and he, he soaked it in, he got some socks and soaked it in petrol and he got some phosphorus, see what he nicked from the lab. Well, after that I thought we'd shoot down the arcade. Um, I've got millions of pennies. Uh, we could go on, on the tank firing range or, or, or um, the, the fruit machines, Danny. You like the fruit machines or um, the football game. You know you like having a go on that. Um, we could go to the Odeon and see that picture he was talking about, the, the, the space one. Or uh, go to the zoo, museums, anywhere. Danny! 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 Christmas trees were tall We used to laugh while others used to play Don't ask me why The time has passed us by Someone else moved in from far away Now we are tall Christmas trees are small And you don't ask the time of day But you and I Our love will never die But guess who cried Come first to me The apple tree says that you've been going around telling people that you love me. I don't mind it. It's just that well, people laugh at you, don't they? And well, if you have to tell someone, why not tell me? I mean, I'm always the last to know. Here, isn't it? Yeah. My mum doesn't like me coming here, but I'm not frightened, are you? No. That gravestone there. Here lies my beloved and beautiful Ella Jane, wife and lifelong friend. 
Thank you for 50 years of happiness. Laid to rest July the 7th, 1893. Henry James McDevitt, gone to join his Ella Jane, September the 11th, 1893. He only lasted two months after she died. He must have loved her very much. 50 years happiness. How long's 50 years? Um, 150 school terms, not including holidays. Will you love me that long? I don't think you will. Of course. I've loved you a whole week already, haven't I? The apple tree that grew for you and me I watch the apples falling one by one And I recall the moment of them all The day I kissed your cheek and you were gone Now we are tall and Christmas trees are small and you don't ask the time of day But you and I, our love will never die But yes, you cry, come first of May When I was small And Christmas trees were tall He's come to tea. His name's Daniel. Pleased to meet you, Daniel. I suppose I've got enough tea. I brought extra because your dad's home. He's out on bow. I'll take your satchel for you. Oh, thanks. Here. Thank you. Hello, yeah. Melody, love. <laughs> How have you been? All right, thank you. Who is this? He's a little mate from school, aren't you, dear? Are you coming in then, love? Come on up to the table. Simple, is it? No. <laughs> Not bad, Van Flo. Not bad, is it? You in the uh, in the Boy Scouts, Donald? Daniel. Uh, Daniel. No, the BB. Ah. Oh. I was in the Boy Scouts. Oh yeah, me. Marvelous it was. All those steaming hot cups of cocoa, suet pudding, sing songs round the campfire. Oh, we're riding along on the crest of a wave, and the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God, some of the things we used to get up to. Oh, dear me. <laughs> you know, when the new boy arrived, we used to mix some boot black and toothpaste and spread it all over... Oh. Reg, do you mind? We're eating. I always think I'm as nice as straight off the bone, you know, Flip. Always is. You go to the pictures much, do you, David? Daniel. Uh, Daniel. Oh, yes, quite a bit. When I think of the pictures, I always remember my father. My father, yes. When I used to ask him for six minutes for the pictures, he'd say, there's pictures on the wall. But I want to see the moving pictures, I used to say. I'll make them bloody moving through his boot at the wall. Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <dearie>. I <laughs> only always used to say that moving pictures ruins your eyesight. Would you like some fish paste, Daniel? The continual flickering, he used to say, 
Put your eyeballs off centre. That reminds me of my Uncle Roger. <laughs> Yeah. He was deaf ever since a bomb hit Burwell Street during the war, you know. Anyway, recently, he read this ad in the paper about redressing the balance of the ear. So he tried it, and it worked. So, um, he was overjoyed. Oh, yeah. He'd been deaf for 20 years. So, anyway, they had a bit of a celebration, you know. And uh, he was opening a bottle of champagne. The cork flew out, knocked his eye out. <laughs> Life can be very cruel like that. Abrahams. Here. Boom. Here. Gates. Dismiss. Gresham. Dismiss. Hopgood. Miss. Ingledon. Dismiss. Livingston. Here. Latimer. Latimer. Daniel Latimer. Lucy. Sir. Peters. Dismiss. Perkins. Perkins? What in today? Rogers? I'm just a clown that used to run around. I used to have a million friends. I used to start. by now. What should you be doing? Um, don't know. Geography, I think. I quite like geography. So do I. Melody? Yeah? Do you like new maths? They're okay. I think I like history best. Yeah. <laughs> well, sometimes I like it, but mostly I hate it. Dad doesn't like the seaside. He says he gets the sand in his ears or something. Whenever we go to the seaside, Dad always stays at home. In the pubs, mostly. <laughs> we always travel together. We don't get out of the car, though, really. <laughs> they generally have a row on the way down. And they don't speak to each other until we get back home. Hey, Melody! 
Daddy, look what I've got. That's good. See? <laughs> Married. One day, perhaps. Why does the water always seep away? How old do you have to be, you reckon? Perhaps if we put the stones in first, then maybe it'll stay. I don't know, as old as our parents, I suppose. If we wait that long, we might be old miseries. Most old people I know are old miseries. I honestly don't know. When you're older, you're supposed to know it all. Perhaps that's what makes him so fed up. Oh, I don't know. I really don't know. So we've taken it upon ourselves to move the summer holidays forward a trifle, have we? And where did you decide to go whilst your colleagues went about their daily scholastic duties? Battersea Funfair. That's always a favourite. Battersea Funfair, was it? The seaside, sir. The seaside? You do realise the enormity of this fundamental breach of school discipline. It's... It's not a minor offence, Latimer and uh, Perkins. Not a minor offence. If you're gallivanting off somewhere, you can't be at school. And if you can't be at school, we can't teach you. And if we can't teach you, you'll end up a bunch of raving imbeciles like the generation above you. As you know, I don't encourage corporal punishment in this school, but there are occasions when a lesson has to be taught. However, you're both rather young. One hesitates to use extremely severe measures. But for your own good, try to see the error of these immature pranks. Think of your careers. Think of life's rich tapestry that lies before you. <laughs> Look, I understand. I was young myself once, a long time ago, of course. <laughs> But I realised eventually what my priorities were. So do we, sir. So do you what? Realise what our uh, priorities are, sir. Good for you, Latham. Uh, uh, Latimer. <laughs> I see our little powwow has had some effect, eh? Got your priorities right, have you? Yes, sir. We want to get married. Oh. <laughs> My word, you've got a lot to learn. <laughs> I've heard some funny things in my time. I don't think it's very funny, sir. You don't think it's very funny? No, sir. And you, young lady, do you think it's very funny? Not really, sir. I assume you've already promised your fair, freckled, first-form hand in marriage to this young gentleman? I don't really know, sir. don't really understand what it all means, sir. You don't understand what it all means. You don't understand what it all means. You're treating us as though we were stupid. All we want to do is to be with one another all the time. And we thought that meant getting married, doesn't it? It's not meant to be funny. Don't you understand? Now look here, young man. I've been extremely patient with you. 
I'm willing to overlook your gross ignorance of well, the young lady. God knows we've only ourselves to blame for that. But your impertinence is getting a little out of hand. The matter is finished. Do you understand me? Finished. says, is it too late to propose? Get to come at the wedding. <laughs> Now all of you get back to your places, go on, sit down and keep quiet and open your young Latin primers at page 24. I'll talk to you later on, sure. It's a great pity you're not more in love with your work, Latimer. I'm sorry, Danny. I didn't mean to. really like this little lad, do you? Well, that's, that's fine. We always look forward to you bringing your boyfriends home. He, he seems a nice type of uh, lad. Yeah, that's just the trouble, though. He's only a little lad. You're only a little girl. Our little sunshine, your mum calls you. I know it's difficult for you to understand, love, but people just don't get married at your age. They generally wait to see if they like one another when they're older. How old? In the twenties. Older sometimes. But that's twice as old as I am now. I know it is, love. Only seems like yesterday I was changing your nappies. I know, but we want to be together now. Think of all the schooling you've got to do yet, love. And you like school, don't you? I've got all your reports. We often look at them, don't we, Mum? I know, but I like being with Daniel more than I like doing geography. Oh, sweetheart. There are lots of things we haven't explained to you yet about life and all sorts of things. I know, but why is it so difficult when all I want to do is be happy? We want you to be happy. Then why can't you help me instead of keep putting things in my way? 
I just don't understand it. I just can't think why it's so terrible. Please tell me, because I just don't understand. <laughs> tell me, Mrs. Latimer, what can I do for you this splendid morning? Elope? What do you mean, elope? Oh, I, oh, I'm sure you're quite wrong. I saw them in class myself scarcely ten minutes ago. But of course I'm sure. Look, if you like, I'll pop down myself and make certain, but I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. Hello, Headmaster Secretary, can I help you? Um, shouldn't you be taking 2C for English? Well, I'm supposed to, but they never turned up. Never turned up? They didn't come back after morning break. Okay, where are they? Where are who? The class, boy, the class. they are going to get married. Where, boy, where? Under the arches, down by the railway line. The railway line. <laughs> And the people were all shouting, just wait till Lenin gets here. Right, well, um, carry on reading till I get back. Upon the place beneath, it is twice blessed. It blesseth him that gives. No, thank you, I've had mine. Tis mightiest in... Oh, yes, of course. Um, uh, proceed with the lesson until I return.
Close up now, madam. Oh, I'll go and cut off his retreat. Yes, yes, follow him. He'll, he'll lead us to them. Where? Uh, Where? Miss Dimkins, cover decks. The rest of you, we'll comb that area. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in the sight of God to join together this man and woman in holy matrimony. <laughs> Shut up. Well, it's not funny, it's serious. Wilt thou have this woman to thy wedded wife and live together after God's ordinance in the... William? I will. No, I thought you might. Will thou have this man to thy wedded husband and live together after God's ordinance in the Holy Spirit? Will thou obey him? Will you? I will. Good. Right. I now pronounce you. Quick, get out! Dick, he's coming! <laughs> Just a goodbye Teach Your children well Their father's hell Did slowly go by And feed Them on your dreams The one they fix The one you'll know by